getting ready for the afternoon set to go out and catch another load of dogs. And the dog just ran in a funny way down the side past our hotel. And uh, Nigel said, Luke, you know, there's a dog. I think he might have rabies. And uh, the guys ran off after it, netted it up, brought it back. And what's happened is it's run down the road. It's bitten three other dogs on the way. The guys caught it and we've now put it in the back of the van there. But it looks like it's got rabies, which is what this whole project is about. It's one of the rabies hotspots in the whole of India. This dog would have not only caused many rabies deaths, but also the government would have to act and they would have to go and start killing dogs. So thousands of dogs would have got unnecessarily killed because of this one dog. I think it's one of the big misconceptions. Everyone thinks rabid dogs just foaming and just snarling and big fierce animals are just going to go through your throat sort of thing. Not at all. They just look a little bit strange. They're kind of detaxing, they're wobbling around, they've got a funny gait, they're just really unpredictable. It's so sad, I just feel so sorry for the dog. But what we're gonna do is just inject it with some, some really good sedation now. And this just goes in the muscle here. It's all right, good dog. That will work in about five minutes. So, good dog. Poor thing. I mean, basically rabid dogs, they're, they're often just perceived as vicious and horrible. And the truth is that they're victims. They're just absolute victims of this terrible disease, so. We just do this nice and calmly. <laughs> 